Womack's wonderful world. Oh, today, children, we've got a Christmas story for you that you're going to love. Story from Aberdeen Plenative, and it's called A Knock at the Door on Christmas Day. Wow, it's a great story. Are you excited? Because I am. Let us begin. Here we go. There was an old lady of age 82 who lived all alone and had nothing to do. She woke up every day, put on her shawl, slipped on her slippers and entered the hall. She entered the kitchen, began to make tea. The kettle would hiss. She had sugar lumps. Three. And yes, the old lady did live on her own. She sometimes felt lonely while she was at home. The little old lady tried not to be sad, remembering things her past made her glad. She butted some toast and remembered the day when the pond was all ice on a morning in May. She gazed at the tea, which took no time to make, and remembered the time she jumped into the lake. She went to the fire and turned on the telly, the toast and the tea now warming her belly. At a quarter to ten, she looked out at the street, where people were rushing around on tired feet. Today was December 24th, Christmas Eve. She was glad she could stay in her house and not leave. She sat in her chair and was starting to drift when a knock at the door caused her eyelids to lift. She answered the door where there stood a young girl, dressed all in white, with a head full of curls. The girl came inside and she looked at the lady. She said, are you lonely? The lady said, maybe. The girl said, do you see your loved ones at all? Their faces smiled out from the frames on the wall. I once fell in love with a young man named Kevin. We met in the playground when I was just seven. We married, we never had kids, but we were happy. We laughed and we joked, he was such a sweet chappy. But then he got old and I said bye to Kevin. He went to meet old mum and dad up in heaven. That's sad, said the girl. But I know a place where you can be young and see Kevin's kind face. You can run like a girl and relive the day when the pond was all ice on a morning in May. Your legs and your arms will feel young and won't ache and you and sweet Kevin can jump in the lake. I'm not sure, said the lady, feeling quite scared. Then just take a peek, said the girl. It's just there. She held her small hand and they started to fly. The walls fell away and they flew through the sky. Up there in the clouds, she felt lighter than air. She giggled with glee. The wind blew through her hair. And then in the distance she saw a small boy. He picked his round nose as he played with his toy. She remembered his face. This boy was Kevin and that was the day that they met age seven. He looked at her face, which he'd always remember. They knew on that day that they would be together. The old lady smiled. They continued to fly. The little girl showed her a cloud in the sky. And on that small cloud was her mum and her dad. They smiled and the lady felt wonderfully glad. But why have you brought me here? asked the old lady. Well, if you like it, then stay a while, maybe. It really was tempting. Her heart felt like new. But she thought down on earth. She had something to do. You've had a nice life, but maybe it's time to say bye to your world and come stay in mine. The lady was quiet 
not knowing what to say. Should she go back to her lonely townhouse or stay? Then tap, 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 tap. She heard a strange sound. It came from a place far away on the ground. I have to go now, said the old lady sadly. I know, said the girl, and she smiled at her gladly. The old lady floated down through clouds and air. She gently came down into her armchair. Then tap, 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 the sound was quite loud. Was that all a dream, she wondered aloud. She had been asleep, it was now Christmas Day. She followed the tapping into the hallway. She opened the door and there stood a girl. She had a big smile and a head full of curls. They chatted while munching on treacly tart and the old lady felt a new warmth in her heart. And once they were finished, they said their goodbyes. She thanked her for coming, you're an angel, she cried. So if you know someone who's home all alone, go round, say hello, or call on a phone. For we all will grow old, and we all need a friend. So be one to someone near you. The end. Wow, wasn't that a lovely story? Christmas story. Well, a knock at the door on Christmas Day by Alan Pendleith. Well, especially at Christmas, you should be a friend to somebody, and be kind. Thank you very much for listening to my story. Well, on Christmas Day especially. Wow. Well, I'm going to have to go now uh, because I'm going to be seeing you again next week. Tune in to all my wonderful world. Bye.